Today I'm going to walk you around our brand new Tanami X15 model hybrid off-road camper. I'm going to start you up the front. As always, we only use the good quality gear. We've got the 3.5 ton Uniglide McHitch up front, a nice big 750 kilo dual wheel, uh, ARK jockey wheel. Here we have a bunch of storage. Now this camper is all about storage. It's so much space. A nice big toolbox there. You've got your gas bottle uh, cabinet over here. Rings for nine and four kilo bottles, a double hose regulator, a whole bunch of empty storage there. You can put jerry cans in there if you like. There's some tie down points. We have a nice good protection cover on the front. Some good strong handles if you want to push your camp around the driveway. Here we move into the fridge space. As you can see today, we've got a 95 litre Evercool fridge in here. There's heaps of room for a nice big fridge. LED lights in the cabinet for when it's dark. Tons of space. Walking back through, you've got a nice bar area in here. You can put your TV unit in here. You've got all your connections in there, so you don't have to worry about signal. You've got that wind up aerial on the roof. You can use it as a bar, you can use it as storage, you can use it to watch TV, whatever you want to use it for. Around here, a nice big pantry drawer. Put all your dry goods in there or anything else you want to put in. Tuck it away when you don't want it. A fully functional kitchen, as always, for us. A nice big cutlery drawer in there. Put all your gear in. Your second drawer there for your bigger utensils. As always, we use the Dometic uh, Smev three burner stove. Set down so it's not going to bother you too much with the wind. A good prep bench on the end, comes with a leg. Hot and cold water at the tap. A good drainage area. A nice removable and flexible light. Uh, a nice drainage rack on the back. You can use it, you know, when you're doing the dishes, throw them up on there to drain. Or you can put your condiments on there when you're cooking as well. Around this other side, we've got a nice good prep bench on the back here. Gas plug in just at the back with your bayonets. You can put your Weber up there or any sort of barbecue you want to put up there. You can be cooking on the stove, have your barbecue running here at the same time. Very, very functional kitchen. Around the back, it's pretty self-explanatory. The bop, back pops out, wheels come down. You've got your king size bed inside, all double glazed windows. They have a couple of different adjustments on them. Out as far as you like, comes back in put it wherever you like. On the driver's side of the camper here, again, a whole lot of storage. You've got a couple of nice big tub drawers to put all your little knickknacks in, tools, whatever you want to sort of put in there. Everyone packs their camper a bit differently. A really nice area in here also. You can put a generator in there or whatever you want to put in. That's where you take your toilet canister out to do all your, get rid of all your bits and pieces that you've been doing for the week. You've got a nice shower set in there, hot and cold tap. An ensuite tent that comes off the back here, um, so that if you're at the beach or something, you can run in, wash all that sand off instead of messing up your internal ensuite. 15 amp inlet, so you can run power if you are at home and you want to keep your camper charged, or if you're at a powered site, or if you've got a generator, you plug into there, that'll run through your charges inside and keep everything charged for you. Water filler in there also mains pressure. So if you're at a van park, you can plug that hose in there and run everything off mains pressure, save you carrying that extra weight in your tank if you do that sort of camping. That's your uh, Truma gas electric hot water system vent. It looks after itself. Inside here, you've got all the creature comforts you want. You've got a nice big ensuite. You've got a little uh, kitchenette in here with a two burner stove, a nice little sink, hot and cold water, of course, a nice big king bed. You've got wardrobe, you've got cupboard storage, you've got drawers. Up the front there, we'll show you in a minute, we've got a nice big double bunk on the bottom. It's about 1100 wide, almost as big as a double bed, and a single one up the top. So ideally, you could sleep, you know, two, three, four, five people in here if you like. If you've got the extended family with a few kids, you've still got plenty of room. This table here, you can have it situated here, or you can take it outside, whatever you want to do with it. If you want to sit in here and have dinner, no problem. Otherwise, take it outside and have a game of cards. Plenty of USB charging points in the camper. You've got some reading lights on both sides. You've got a TV up there on a swivel arm, you can watch from bed, you can watch from the couch, whatever you want to do. Here we are in the bathroom ensuite. Heaps of room in here. We've got a nice little vanity, a good thread fit electric flushing toilet, and a really good shower system here, which is, and again, I can stand up in here, have my arms out, and there's a whole lot of room to move around. It's not like a little pokey bathroom that you would see in a lot of caravans. You really have got a lot of room in here to, to have a good shower. A nice mirror there for the ladies. It's perfect. Up the front here with the 15, we've got a couple of double bunks. This one down the bottom is quite a wide bunk at about 11 or 1200 wide and a bit of a narrow one up the top. So you could sleep two smaller children in the bottom 
and a bit of, and another child up the top. So that extended family, again, like I was saying, you've got that option for three kids and a couple of adults very comfortably in this camper. How good is this? As we know, with a hybrid camper, you have all those luxuries inside of a caravan, but you're cooking outside and living that great outdoor adventure sort of lifestyle of still camping. But what you've got here, when the weather isn't great, you've got your sink in here, you've got a two burner stove in here. So if you need to pack up with that freak storm or something, you can jump inside and still, of course, be very, very comfortable inside and cook yourself a good meal and tidy up after yourself. Very, very convenient to have this inside as well. How good is this? The bottom bunk of this Tanami X15, there's so much room in here. Now I'm over six foot and I can stretch out no problem at all, roll around, it's just so good. Here we are in the king bed at the back of the Tanami 15 and it is just really comfortable. There's so much room over here to share the, uh, the bed with your spouse. Kids up the front there, you can see them where you want to so you know what's going on. A beautiful window here, you'll wake up and look at that outlook. What more could you want with a camper? It's fantastic.